What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today, I know it's been crazy with the videos today, man. We found out what was going on with the monster. There's a curveball for that. You guys are gonna see what's up with that tomorrow. I, this has gotta be like days of our challengers. You know what I'm saying? One, one challenger to live. General challenger hospital. Like this, like, you know, the challengers and the restless. I, I don't know what to call this shit, man. This shit is crazy. This shit is a telenovela with, with Mopars. Mopar novela. <laughs> Mopar novela, damn it. Yes. Oh, man. Anyways, welcome on back, guys. Today, we're getting back one of the most famous Hellcats in Houston. Oh, yeah. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. I am still driving back to North Kakalaki, but I was in my DMs yesterday, and you know, I, I was just trying to catch up with everything that was going on. And and shout out to SRT Pinky. I guess I guess he got back out. Um, I don't know if or I, I don't know if he's back out, but um, I was DMing with the account because I saw something come across my uh, browse list at Copart. And it is the SRT Pinky Hellcat. It just popped up right here. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means it went to Copart. The police are hating. Uh, you know, they, they, I, look, I, I can't speak for what the exact reasons are the car went to Copart. Uh, and or why the police department sent it there. All I can say is this. Um, it's going to go for fairly cheap because of the issue on why it's there. Uh, with the VIN whatever issue. But we should be able to snap that up fairly quickly. Now you know I'm kind of like the salvage advocate, right? That's why that's what people have been calling me. I, yo, people were asking me if I was going to buy... Joshua Laurent's fucking Hellcat, and don't think I didn't look for it. I did. The burnt one, right? I tried to find that bitch. I couldn't find it. Um, you know, people asked if I was going to buy a you know, SRT Breeze Hellcat, and don't get it twisted. If that shit, if that shit went to Copart, I'd have bought that, just to be a spiteful asshole. And then, you know, other people that I tried to look out for, you know, like Slime Pack, Motorsport 392, you guys know that we are we have a sponsor on that. We're actively bidding on that. We will eventually get that car once the bank figures out what the hell they're going to do with the goddamn title. And then we have cars like, shout out to my dude Stitchby, who's also in Houston. Um, you know, Copart kind of bungled that. That car wasn't supposed to um, be sold like that. And it just went, but, 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 full disclosure, we did get something else worked out and... We are going to pick up a Super B, and we're going to build a monster for Stitch B, so I'm excited about that. We have that coming in the work. I'm going to be busy, man. It's crazy because I'm literally just using my contacts and my people, the sponsors and shit, to kind of just help people get back into the cars that they love. And, and I got to be honest with you, if it, it, no homo, man. I got to say this now because I know someone's going to say some shit like, TK, you're getting sensitive. What happened to... What happened to Petty Roosevelt? Da -da 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 -da. Look, man, Petty Roosevelt is still here. It's like right here. He's right here in my ear, like every day. Yo, fuck that. Do this. Do that. Yo, Petty Roosevelt is right here. So be careful, all right? I know how it feels to lose something that you love. I'm about to lose the green monster forever, right? Uh, or maybe. <laughs> maybe. But, um,. I know how it feels, man. I know how Slime Pack felt. I mean, I slime, slime felt when she lost the, the Slime Pack underscore 392 Charger. I, I, I got it. I know how it feels. I'm sure that shit was devastating to Pinky when this bitch got snatched up by the police. You know what I'm saying? But all of that said, we're going to um, 
we're gonna get this thing snatched back from Copart. Um, whatever it is, I, I got a couple sponsors on the line now. We're gonna get an estimate on what we're gonna have to bid. And as long as we stay in that framework, we're gonna get SRT Pinky back as Hellcat. Now I know you guys are gonna say, well, so what? You're just gonna give him back to Hellcat? Yeah, why not? Let me tell you why shit like, cause here's the thing. One, it's not my money. It's, it's sponsor money. Two, it's good content. Three, it's also goodwill in the city, right? So like when I do shit like that, let me just keep it a buck. I don't expect when I, when we, when we get this to happen, like I don't expect anything from, from Pinky or, or any of his squad by doing it. I'm just doing it cause I'm a solid fucking dude. And if I have the contacts and the ability to do it and I don't do it, that's kind of a, that's kind of a scumbag move, right? So if we can put enough sponsors together and get enough sponsorship money where I really don't have to come out of pocket outside of maybe the title fees and stuff to pick up the car, why not do it? You know, we can get Texas to put a, a verified VIN on the vehicle that they create one. This happens in Florida too. And then the car is, is good to go. Pinky can go around and spin that shit, take it to shows, do what he wants to do. And I feel like I did something right in the community. So it's a win for me. I think it's a win for the city of Houston to be able to see that car. But you know what it's an L for? It's an L for all y'all hating ass motherfuckers. <laughs> it's an L. You got to understand that that, you know, I, and look, and I know I, I, I rock with people. I, I rock with people on both sides of um, of Pinky. There's some people that that don't that don't like them that I rock with, and there's some people that love them that I rock with. But look, man, everybody has their own issues, and I don't get involved in people's personal shit unless it directly affects me, right? Um, and all I can tell you is, anytime I've ever come to the city. If I did something like I, I forget, oh, I think it was for Playboy's rap reveal, right? When the when the when the challenger was getting the Playboy ride, right? yeah, man. Every time I run into Pinky, man, he has done nothing but just been a solid motherfucker, man, and just been like, yo, T, what's up, TK? What's good, man? Da da da. Chop it up, shoot the shit. You know, if I share something or do something, ends up sharing my shit on fucking Instagram or liking my, shit. yeah, man, just a solid fucking dude, man. That's a solid, just a solid dude. In my opinion, you might not like to do and I, and I don't know what to tell you, but all I can do is go by what I've seen and how somebody treats me, right? And, um, and especially, especially SRT Flex, right? First time I come to Houston with the monster, you know, he was out there like detailing cars and shit. Now I haven't got a chance since I've been, since I, since, uh, power has been out, I have not got a chance to link up with power. Um, I haven't been back in Houston heavy like that, but I am coming back and I stand on what I said because I did, we did send a DM, titties on me, bro. When I, when I get back to Houston, I will, we will have a section, titties on me. We can bring the hogs out, titties on me, man. We're going we, we gonna to go in, we're going to do what I want to do. And if you, and before someone gets in the comments, like TK doesn't do that, all y'all that, that have been out with me, when I take y'all to the bar, the strip club, is y'all's money any good when y'all ride with me? Just answer that question in the comments and we can just shut these haters down and these bitch ass motherfuckers that are gonna get to come in the comments and be like, TK doesn't really do it like that. Y'all answer that in the comments right now. Cause that's how I roll. You know, if I'm out there and somebody, and, I, and I, you're a guest, you're my guest, I, I, I invited you out. Man, ain't nobody, don't eat. I'm not letting nobody spend their money. You know what I'm saying? I can't take the money that I got with me. So, anywho, that's it. Uh, when I when I do get back, titties on me, bro. Titties on me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start laying the foundation for this. Right now, the car is not up for auction. It, it's a future. It's set for a future sale. Uh, I already reached out to corporate to find out what the details are on it. Is it going to be able to be titled? Can I put it on the road? And the short answer is yes. It can be titled. It can be put back on the road. And I think with a good detail, you might not even have to do anything to the car except take it right back out and drive it right by these motherfuckers that took it and just be like, ah. <laughs> that 
that's the only thing I ask Pinky to do, man. Is I want you to go out there and shit on all these motherfuckers that was hating. When you get back to when you get when you get that Hellcat, that Hellcat, that pink rap SRT Pinky Hellcat back, I want you to go out there and shit on these motherfuckers. And as long as you do that, I'm good, man. You don't owe me shit. Um, you know, we're, the, the sponsors will be happy because we'll put the sponsors in the video. And I can tell you, I, I got two lined up already. Um, I got two sponsors lined up already. But I have a feeling that this car is going to sell for like between forty-five to 55000 That's my guess. Forty-five to 55000 is where I'm thinking it's going to sell. So... I'm trying to get um, one, maybe two more sponsors. Because the sponsors we got right now, you know, we'll probably be able to get between 24 to 30 grand in, the, in that sponsorship deal between those two. I'm going to try to get a couple more so that we don't have to come out of pocket at all for the car. You know, this is all sponsorship money. We'll mention all of the sponsors. Like one of the sponsors today, we can talk about it, is Mint Mobile. Link in, <laughs> link in the description down below. Look, man, we know how things are, man. Fellas, if you just need that extra line, you don't want your girlfriend to be looking at your text messages. Maybe you want a phone number that your name is not physically on for whatever it is, whatever business-wise, whatever you got going on. Check out the link in the description down below. Mint Mobile, 90 bucks gives you three months of fully unlimited service. That's texting all the side chicks, calling all the side chicks, you know what I'm saying? Tinder dates, whatever it is you got to do, you know, your adult friend finder page, whatever it is that you need to do, you can do this on the scumbag. You can get you a whole, call it the scumbag phone, get you a whole separate scumbag phone with a Mint Mobile SIM card in it. You know what I'm saying? And you're good to go. Good to go. Get a food stamp phone. Throw a mint mobile SIM card in it. That's the scumbag phone. Leave it in the car. You know, holler at your side chicks. Do whatever you got to do with it. But they are one of the sponsors that will be on the SRT Pinky uh, build. And, and I say build because I'm sure that the Houston Police Department or Harris County uh, has done some shit to the car. And I'm sure it's got some damage on it. And uh, we are going to thoroughly go over the car and remove all trackers, all bullshit, and get all that shit up out of there. So stay tuned for that. But anywho, if, 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 if you want to see this car back on the streets in Houston, I need you to do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to see that SRT Pinky Hellcat back on the streets in Houston. And, and, we're not done yet. Make sure you go follow SRT Pinky. Link in the description down below. I'm going to tag all his relevant social media shits. Just go follow because it's a good time. And uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to put power in there. We're going to put SRT Flex in there too. Make sure you go follow all of them. By the way, SRT Flex just launched a YouTube channel. And that's got to be the hardest motherfucking rap I've ever seen on a track. Or, or, I'm sorry. He has an SRT... Uh, Jeep, right? It's not a track hawk. Well, whatever. That's got to be the hardest damn rap I've ever seen. If you, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, hit that link in the description, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. That that shit is hard, man. Hard. I'm telling you. That Black Adam shit is hard. Anyways. <laughs> I'm done, man. I'm getting a little loopy because I've been driving for 14 hours. But um, I'm about to shut it down. It's, it's, so I have some data daytime to edit and upload and shit we'll do that but um major shout out to pinky man if you want to see that car back on the streets of houston real simple smash that thumbs up button share the video and um we'll make it happen man we'll make it happen captain we just got to figure out what the situation is with the title um how they're gonna how they're gonna do that if they're gonna issue it from texas i think they said it was I think from what I what I got back from corporate yet is that it has to come from Florida. I don't know why it has to come from Florida um, unless the car was titled there. I, I don't know. But we're going to see if we can just get it and get it done in Texas and, and just call it a day. And then get a new branded event on it and we'll call it a day. But anyways, with that said, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Shout out to all the people that have been giving me nothing but love and hitting that thumbs up button, subscribing 
and just being generally supportive, man. I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. And for you haters in your mother's basements, in your da dun -da -dun using that fucking bus pass to get back and forth to go pick up your uh, assistance because you, you're too lazy to go work or do anything or because you're just an overall scumbag and you like living in your mother's basement. Cody Dick. Oh. And again, I'm sure men going to be like, we in this video, you got us in this video. Major shout out to the sponsors, Mint Mobile, for sponsoring this video and for volunteering to be a sponsor of this build. I can't tell you enough enough how much that means to us as a channel and uh, how much it will mean for us to be able to get this car back and put onto the streets of Houston, Texas. With that said, now we can get out of here. I was going to leave it on the whole eat a dick thing, but you know, I can't help it. Look, man, if you got somebody that you really don't like, <laughs> see, I told you, Petty Roosevelt is right here, man. Right here, man. If you got somebody that you really don't like, somebody that's been talking shit, running their mouth, go to dicksbymail.com. It's not a joke. Go to dicksbymail.com. Exactly how it sounds. D-I-C-K-S-B-Y-M-A-I-L. Dicksbymail.com. Use the coupon code DRUNKDICKS for 30% off. Because uh, most of y'all are probably mailing this out to somebody or, or making this order you know, to send somebody a bag of dicks when you're drunk. But there's all kinds of stuff over on the website. Go check it out. Dicksbymail.com. Forward, uh, not forward slash. Dicksbymail.com. Coupon code drunk dicks. Take 30% off. My favorite is the dick bombs, especially if you don't like somebody. Like when they open the box and that thing opens up and it just shoots little dicks everywhere. It's hilarious. It's a good time. Go check it out. Anywho, now we can get out of here. Woo! <laughs>